Alright, uh, welcome to another lesson uh, that we promised. Uh, please, this is going to be a continuation of uh, one of the lessons we did. Uh, we said we shall be handling a topic by topic. And uh, in today's lesson, we are now going to be looking more uh, on the square roots of numbers. And uh, we looked at uh, what we call uh, using a ladder method. We can derive our square root using a ladder method. Uh, which is in uh, factorization and also we can also use uh, another method that we explained uh, that is by looking out for the number that can be multiplied by itself to get uh, uh, to get uh, the square root you multiply that number by itself so when they are giving you a number they give you a number on this form and they want you to uh, find out which number was multiplied by itself uh, to get what to get uh, the, the, that square root so let's get started with these numbers of ours okay uh, let's get started uh, we promise uh, we promise that we shall be using a variety of methods uh, one uh, in these methods in these methods uh, we are able to use uh, we are able to use uh, a ladder method a ladder method uh, then we also talked about what we call a factor what uh, a factor a factor tree method okay so uh, we are able to use what we call a ladder method so let's also try our what our factor tree method how do you use uh, uh, this factor tree method how do we uh, use our factor tree method okay how do we use our factor tree method uh, we said uh, when you have been given our numbers uh, that is 144 uh, 140 what 144 144 so uh, we are going to use our what our factor tree method so when you, we say uh, for us to be able to use our factor tree method uh, you bring out an angle here uh, so when you make an angle here you look out for uh, the least factor that can divide our number here uh, we said we can use our two so when you use our two we get our 70 what 72 we also get another list factor which is a two here we get our 36 uh, we still use uh, our two here we get our 18 uh, we still use our two here we get nine uh, then we have our nine uh, which number can we use? We said we can use a 3. Uh, so when you divide 9 by 3, we get uh, 3. Then a 3 divided by uh, our 3, we get 1. So you can still see that when you use our factor tree method also, you can still also come up with our number. So then, uh, then you represent, uh, you have to represent, you represent uh, in a multiplication form a multiplication a multiplication a multiplication form okay so when you represent these numbers in a multiplication form uh, we shall be having our our two times two times two times uh, two four times then times three okay so uh, this is going to be we now arrange these numbers in form of what <coughs> in form of sets we give them sets okay so now we get each member in each set each member in each set to represent then we say one uh, that is a two and then times two then times three okay we are picking a member in each set okay and we multiply them then we leave the rest so this is going to be our four times three 
then our answer is shall be able to get our 12 okay <coughs> shall be able to get our what our 12 then uh, after representing our 12 that simply mean that we shall now be able to say that therefore our square root is 12 the square root of uh, uh, 44 is what is 12 then we also said uh, we can also use uh, uh, other methods uh, other method is uh, when you multiply that number by what by itself if you multiply that number by what by itself then you can be able to uh, get the same answer so this is our 12 uh, then times uh, times our 12 uh, so when you multiply this number we can still be able to come up with what we can still be able to come up with uh, with our 144 100 and what? 144 so that is uh, how we can really uh, come up with uh, numbers of this kind so using this method now we can be able to solve uh, a variety of questions that are concerned with the, uh, finding the what? Uh, finding uh, the square root of these numbers okay so let's look at uh, the different uh, the different what uh, let's look at now the different uh, questions uh, that are always asked when it comes to uh, when it comes to when it comes to uh, when it comes to what when it comes to square roots okay so these are different examples now here as you can see they are telling us to find the square root of uh, numbers below okay so in these numbers we have been given a two uh, they want us to find the square root of what the square root of two uh, which number can be multiplied by two and we get uh, a two okay uh, then they also want us to get the square root find the square the squares of these numbers okay so here they want us to find the square of these numbers okay so here now we can say uh, we can come and say our solution okay we can come and say that our solution is going to be uh, our number a they want us to find the square the square of these numbers so this simply means that for us to be able to find the square of these numbers our number our part a is is a two so this simply means we shall be having our two uh, times times two then we should the answer we get should be a square what a square root okay then we also find out another number is going to be our four okay this is part what part b part b is going to be equal to uh, our four times uh, times four and uh, then we should be able to come up with our 16 which is the answer so this simply mean uh, the square root of 16 is 4 Okay, so also uh, if our six part C, okay, this is going to be part C. Uh, is going to be our six, uh, which is equal to a uh, six times times six. What do we get? Uh, we get our thirty what? Our thirty six. Uh, that simply means that our square root of thirty six is, is six. Then our last number, which is D. Uh, D, they are saying we have what we call a 10. So this is also the same as 10 uh, times, times 10. And uh, then our answer is going to be 100. Our answer is going to be, our answer is going to be 100. So, uh, here you can see that we have now been able to attempt our numbers using the basics that we have been able to learn in our uh, recent examples. And then our last number, which is a 2, uh, 
which is the two they are telling us uh, that we should find the square root of of the numbers below using prime what prime factorization so uh, this is the number that we are going to start with uh, while we are uh, solving uh, our numbers remember we have been uh, been able to get the concept of uh, these numbers so for this uh, let me say uh, thank you very much uh, for being part of this session please be able to check out on our recent uh, lessons and also subscribe uh, in the comment section you can also put um, what you really need to be uh, understood and more of what you need for us to move on the same page stay blessed nice uh, moment